Hi hey guys, I'm this is Alan from Hills A Financial. How are you today? So well for today, I just want to show you another way that you might use in um binary option trading. So well it's not really a new way of trading, but then just for those of you who doesn't know, then um there well there is another possibility for you to trade in um in binary option which we will be using a um long um option period so we're trading we'll be trading with a longer time frame and then uh we'll be doing a scalping in um in binary option trading so we just scalp little by little and then we take little uh we take profit little by little and then um just in that way um i think it might be the most um secure safe way for you to trade um in binary option trading and then it actually requires um less technical analyze so we will take a look at the strategy and then we will see if you like the strategy or if you think it's suitable for your trading style so uh well the the indicator that i'm gonna use is gonna be the um the simple moving average and the macd and then we will take a look at the strategy as well and the indicator so uh well let's set up the technical indicators first so um, now we will go to the um, technical indicator. Okay, click on technical indicator. Okay, so well now you see um, I will select the simple moving average and open the drop down. So open the drop down, then we will select all the simple moving average here. So three simple moving average, all selected, and we go to parameter. Okay, so well for parameter I'm using a 7, 13 and 100 parameter. So again, SMA1 is 7, SMA2 is 13, SMA3 is 100. So now after we get the um, simple moving average down, then we'll move on to the oscillator. So just click on oscillator and select the um, MACD. And we open the drop down for MACD. Okay, then we go to parameter. Okay. So well um the parameter here is 5, 35, and 5. So again, EMA1 is 5, EMA2 is 35, signal is 5. So uh well after we get this down, we can close this um technical indicators window. And well the point for today, I will be using a 10 minutes chart to trade with 60 minutes options. So again, Chart period is 10 minutes, option period is 60 minutes. So it's a long term um, chart period and option period. So we will take a look a bit, a bit more. So I will take a look at the chart here. So uh, well, just let me place a trade first. Okay, I placed a trade here. So um, the timing for this chart page, let's take a look at timing first. So um, the, 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 for us to place a trade, using this strategy is when uh, we confirm that the, 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 the market is in a trend market. So in here, if we take a look at the yellow simple moving average, you see that the um, yellow simple moving average is above the candlestick and is heading downward. So now we know that price goes down overall and then that is the timing for us to aim for um, coming to open a low position. Then um, after I confirm the market is in a downtrend, then I move on to the um, the blue and red simple moving average. Then um, I see that the, um, the the crossover and then the blue line is below the red line, so that is a bullish uh, sorry a bearish indication. And then um, after I get the bearish indication from the simple moving average, I move on to the MACD. Then I see. The MACD crossover and there is purple histogram. So that's another bearish indication. So I combine these two signals, then I opened it a low option here. So that's how I opened this trade. So um the tip here for you is that um you need a um a moving market. So I wouldn't trade if I see the price is like this part here because it's not moving much. But then if we take a look at the newest um, price movement, it drops down quite a lot. And then if we take a look at the MACD, we can see that um, the MACD, the histogram actually has a 
really long histogram so I have a big price movement here so that's what I need for this strategy I need a more active market to trade with so um, because when we use this strategy we actually don't wait until the option finish we actually close the trade when the sell paid out is up, um, is more than the investment amount so now you see the sell paid out is still um, at 72 so when it um, gets above $100 which is my initial trade amount then I will close my trade to just um, take um, just to scalp a, a, a little profit little by little so that's how this strategy works so um, you will close the trade at when the sale payout is above the initial trade amount so um, I will show you more later so I will show you how to close the trade but now it's still below my um, my trade amount so um, that's why I was still gonna wait for a little bit here so uh, well for this trading method um, you will need a slightly bigger um, trade amount because uh, we are scalping around 10% of our initial trade amount here so if your trade amount is um, well is if you trade with one dollar then you might expect to um, have 10% out of one dollar in return which is um, 10 cents or if you are trading with um, $10 then um, you might be expecting to have $1 in return in when using this strategy so um, so you see here I'm using $100 but then in fact I'm actually only aiming for a $10 return so um, when this um, sale payout is gets to ten, uh, $110 then I will close this trade and um, I will take this $10 as the profit then uh, well, I would make a lot of this kind of trade and then just to scalp little by little and then just to um, get the profit amount um, to a higher amount so that's how this strategy works so now you see um, the sell payout is almost at $10 so um, just wait for a little bit here then I will close this trade so um, almost there I'm guessing so yeah I will close it here now Okay, so well, um, now let's take a look at the history, uh, history, trade history. So now you see, um, I um, traded with one hundred dollar, and then when I closed my trade, the um, the payout was at one hundred and ten. So the profit I got was actually ten percent out of the um, one hundred dollar, which is ten dollar. So um, again, this um. This strategy is not aiming to take big profit within a short period of time but instead um, we will be using a more secure and safe way to trade and then um, it actually requires less um, technical analysis just like now just like how you see a trade is quite it's quite relaxed and quite easy and then um, I just place my trade there and I close my trade at when I think the, um, the profit amount is enough for me so I set my profit amount at 10% of my um, trade amount so I close my trade at when the um, the, the profit amount has get to 10% of my uh, trade amount so uh, well just try this strategy out and um, if you think just let me know what you think of it and then uh, if you do have any question let me know as well and then I can um, give you an answer. So, well, um, that's it for today. And uh, well, thank you for watching. If you like my video, give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more live trading video. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.